Hey guys, so it is Saturday the 10th of March and I am moving house again. Um, I moved the last time on the 10th of January and it's now the 10th of March so it really feels like only yesterday that I moved but hey ho, such is the way of the world and I've really enjoyed my time here in this warehouse and it's been lovely and I've loved the people and I've loved the area and it's been great and I'm it's been a lovely little life experience, but it's time to move again. Uh, so I've ordered a van and I've ordered two men and they're gonna come and help me move all my things up the street, <laughs> literally only up the street. Um, so I can, I can start the next chapter of my life for six months because guess who got a contract this time? Me. <laughs> so I wanted to show you the absolute carnage that is my belongings right now. Uh, and my tripod is currently a, co a box of coffee pods because why not? All right, this is my bedroom. Yes, 12 o'clock, yeah. Perfect, yeah. Amazing, great. See you, bye. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. I was scared. Do you know when you do that thing where you start questioning yourself? Because I booked the van and I booked the two men. And I was like, no, this isn't gonna happen. I bet you I've like been scammed and someone's taken my money and I'm not actually gonna move because apparently this is my luck. Um, but no, it's fine. There's a man coming in a van to move my things. Cause I can't do it on my own cause I'm small human. Yo, look, I did it. I packed it all in the lift. Let's hope it makes it down. Okay, I don't know how to work the lift, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe. I did it. I managed to make it all fit in here. Yay. Cool. So this is upstairs of it. There's a whole downstairs down there, but yeah. Hey, hey. This is up. Show you under the bed. So all of my boxes that I have from before fitted perfectly like I'd planned it. Like literally, as if I'd measured it out, all my boxes fit. And they cover the fact that it's not all painted. Only some of it's painted. So my guitars and stuff are in under there as well. Here's my laundry bag that's still there. My lamp made it and my glorified mop did too. And that cool. New jeans over there, just chilling out. And uh, this is this is the task of every day now is getting down these. But once I master it, it will be fine. And yes, that is an American flag I'm using as a curtain because that's all I have right now, okay? So my current technique for getting down these stairs is to sit down first and then put my feet down. <laughs> and do it really slowly like a little old lady because I have a bad hip. So this is downstairs. The ladder, as you can see, doubles up as a shelf. So let me show you. Before I do that, I'm gonna put a desk there. Maybe move that there. I don't know, I'll figure this out. I only just got here, give me some time. So currently I have all my writing books there, and maybe oil, um, stuff with junk in them. I still got my junk trunk down there. Yeah, because I can't seem to get rid of it. There's a coffee machine in there. Uh, it just <laughs> looks so out of place. Um, yeah, I got my comic books, I got my writing books, I got all of the books. Uh, my lyric paper for people who buy my lyric sheets and stuff. And of course my two muscle and my Polaroid camera are there. Uh, and yeah, big, big ceiling. Big, big ceiling eye, Janet, that's a window. You know? Do you know what is super fun, which I know a lot of people think wouldn't be fun, is actually going up these stairs. Because I used to have a bunk bed as a kid. Even though I was the only girl and I slept in that room alone and had no friends, I still had a bunk bed. <laughs> so it's still, it reminds me of going up the stairs as a kid. Side note, the mattress is super comfortable uh, and the upstairs bit of the room is super warm. So it's like so cozy and so nice to sleep in, which is important, obviously. <laughs> Good sleeps. Good sleeps. So that is it. That is me all moved in to my new place. Um, wow, it was a lot. It was a lot, a lot. 
Um, just trying to orchestrate the whole thing and making sure everything went off without a hitch and doing it efficiently and then feeling guilty for not being like doing my work it was just <gasps> but I did it uh, I, it's an achievement unlocked now for my adulthood go me <laughs> uh, very proud of myself actually for like the first time ever <laughs> um, yeah so uh, I spent the first night here on my own I just I kind of just reclused away up here in the in the room because I was overwhelmed there was a lot to deal with um, a lot of new faces and just the stress of it all and then the relief of having it all over and just kind of I had to take a moment I had to take a moment just to sit and be and watch Queer Eye <laughs> and have it have a have a have moments and just chill out um before I, I could even be social um but it was worth it it was very worth it so hopefully I'll have as much fun here as I did in the last place. Uh, I just need to get used to the area really. That takes a lot, like just little things like going outside yesterday and was like, oh, I need to get a few bits uh, for, for dinner. And it was, I was, <laughs> I was like wandering around like, where do I go? What, what supermarket is my new, my new thing? And <sighs> just, was teaching me not to be a creature of habit for sure as these but yeah I think I'll really love it here um mm, I'm excited now it's time to be a hobbit and never leave the room <laughs> I'm joking uh, all right guys thank you so so much for watching and I hope that the world is treating you the way that you deserve and that you're having a happy happy day all right Bye.